Hello everyone, welcome to another special edition of The World According to Jason. Today we're going to answer the age-old question, which is better, Coco Curry House or Go Go Curry? So I recently found online that you can order pre-prepared curry from both Coco Curry House, or Coco Ichibanya, and Go Go Curry. And this is amazing because as you might not know, every time I've been to Japan, the first meal I get is always from Coco Ichibanya. This last time I went to Japan, I got a chance to try Go Go Curry as well. And Go Go Curry, at least at the restaurant in Japan, it's very, very delicious. But my preference has always been with Coco Curry House. You have more customization options there, and I feel that the curry just tastes a little better. But let's see how their pre-prepared curry stack up against each other. So if this is the kind of videos that you like, make sure you're subscribed and hit that bell notification so that way as soon as I post new content, you'll be the first to know about it. And without further ado, let's just jump right into it. And there's a there's one distinction that I probably need to share. The Coco Curry box, one pouch comes in each box and the pouch is 220 grams worth of curry. For the Go-Go Curry, each box comes with two pouches, but each pouch is like 100 is, is a little over 100 grams. I'm gonna try the go-go curry first. The smell coming off of these plates is like insane. I'm going nuts. All right, here we go. Mm. Mm. It tastes exactly like I remember it tasting at the restaurant. This is Killer. This is really, really good. Mm. Mm. And it has a nice little heat to it as well. <laughs> this is good. This is really, really good. Okay. It does a great job of mimicking what I remember the flavor of the actual restaurant being. Granted, it's been like, it's been almost, what, 10 months since I've been there. So it's it does a good job of like capturing that memory for me. It has a nice subtle heat. It's, it's thick, it's a thicker curry, um, and I think it would go perfect with like a chicken cutlet. Yeah, really, really, really good. Uh, I'm gonna start this out with a nine out of 10. Super solid, this definitely scratches the itch for curry. Now let's move over to the cocoa curry. And because I'm skurny, I have two plates of curry today that I'll be eating, but that's no problem, because I love it. Uh, and I also got from that same seller on eBay, there was a little uh, spice packet uh, that I've never tried before. I know like in the restaurant, they have like a, you can add like a honey sauce to it or they have like a sweet, kind of like a katsu sauce that you can put on it. Uh, and they have like pickled veggies and uh, I think they have chili pepper, but I usually just eat it straight up. So I'm gonna try it straight up first and then I'll add the spice. I don't wanna cross contaminate. <laughs> oh, Coco Curry, I missed you so much. Oh, I wish they would open a cocoa curry in the US. Like, that would be like my dream come true. All right, let's dig in. I'm sorry, I just like, I, I want this to be good so bad. Like, I'm worried that it may not taste as good. Let's go in. I shouldn't get this excited about food. This is exactly as I remember it. Wow. Mmm. 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 I would love to take a bath in this curry. It is so good. Oh. Oh my goodness. It's super creamy, super delicious. It has a subtle heat to it as well. I'd say like it's probably about the same spice level as the gogo -go curry. It's thinner. Wow. I mean, it still is my favorite curry taste-wise. This is really solid, but this will transport you to a flavor dimension you never knew possible. I love this curry. Now, I, I need to try out this. Oops. I am skinny and smart. Woo! Smells like it's got a kick. Okay, I'm gonna just put a wee bit. This does not do a very good job of staying closed. I mean, look. Oh well. I think I need a little bit more. I didn't really get much. This is really good. It adds some heat, not a ton. I mean, I'd probably have to go crazy with this stuff, but 
it adds a really good flavor to it. Definitely get this if, uh, if you're able to find it. Really, really good. Okay, so now I'm gonna rate this wonderful creation in front of me. This is gonna get a 745,000 out of 10. This is like a, you need to go out right now, go online and buy this. This is amazing. No derpy, go on. No, I know you wanna do this, but no. Go, bye. I totally lost my train of thought. Yes, this is a go out and get it right now. Stop whatever you're doing, go online, order some boxes of this. If you get a 10 pack of it, it's, I don't even remember how much it was, but I'll put it up on the screen somewhere. This is dynamite. Oh, I love it, I love it. Oh, and it has like a little piece of, uh, I'm assuming pork because it says pork curry, but let's, let's taste it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, well, in the epic battle between Coco and Gogo, -Go, Coco still comes out on top for me. I know there are some of you out there that probably think the other way around, and that's totally fine. If you have never tried any of these before, get them both. They're both equally delicious, and then figure out which one you like more, and then order a lifetime supply of that. Wow, this is so good. I just can't wait to get back to Japan so I can actually go to the restaurants and do a head-to-head -head comparison like at the restaurant itself with like their fresh curry. That being said, I'm in love with both of these dishes. I'm gonna go polish these off. But before I go, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. It helps the channel more than you know. And make sure you're subscribed so you can keep up with all the delicious food that I'm gonna be sharing with you. Thank you so much for sticking to the end. And until next time, stay curious.